Hey y'all, this is your boy CD. Um, it's a beautiful rainy day, and as I'm on my journey, as I described <coughs> uh, when I first started this, excuse me, <coughs> um, I felt uh, compelled to put some videos out today, and um, so I decided I want to go ahead and put a video out on how you can actually uh, determine. The, the personal relationships in your life and what I mean by that is you're in control of your own personal circle now with dealing with that you have associates opportunists and friendships so I'm going to start from the worst case scenario to the best scenario and this way this will give you an opportunity to tell the difference on who is actually should be in your life and who should not excuse me now with that being said first of all I want to give thanks to everybody that has stumbled on to my videos um, I made a promise to myself that I was going to chronicle 2012 as I more or less evolve into my destiny for this year 2012 should be for you the best year ever this should be your breakout year um, for those that may have any questions comments by all means you can leave it on the page or you can if it's something that you don't want to go ahead and put it out there you can hit me up uh, on my email at cdmixers at yahoo.com that is c-d-m-i-x-e-r-s and I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can now this is no surprise that you stumbled on me. Some of you may be having some, uh, going through some trials and tribulations and you just do not understand um, how you got here and you, you're looking for some insight. Well, it, was, it was no surprise that you found me and I'm honored. Um, this, is your, this is your spirit actually realigning you for your destiny. So I hope that whatever I'm going to tell you it will help you uh, redevelop and put you on the path that you should actually be in. Um, first of all, for some people, you know, they, they go through things, they don't understand why. Um, there's nothing, uh, nothing happens by chance, nothing at all. Please get that out of your head and think that, well, you know, it was fate and um, it was just one of those fluke things and I got bad luck no 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 this is all about the grand design of who you are and as you get older and go through experiences because every experience may be good or bad there's a lesson um, goodness knows that if if everything was positive well, it would be great but you're going to do most of your learning through, unfortunately, negative experiences. So this message is more or less to give you an understanding. I'm going to put out other videos out there more in depth. So let's just jump into it. Now, first and foremost, uh, what was the two most important things that you were supposed to do today? I want you to look, just think about it. And uh, I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Think about it. what were the two most important things that you were supposed to do today. Go ahead, think about it. Figured it out yet? No? I'll give you a couple more seconds. Alright, number one. When you woke up this morning, did you give thanks to your higher power? Really? There's somebody right now that doesn't have that, doesn't have that luxury. Um, always give thanks to your higher power. Mine is Jesus Christ. Yours could be whoever you choose. Um, do not take your life for granted. Do not do that. Also, when you went to go in your bathroom and wash your face, and which is a beautiful face, you are only you. You are the, 
your highest power's greatest creation. Did you take that time to say, I love you? Did you? So many people take that for granted. Look, the reason why I say that, no one can give you the value that you should have value in yourself. You set that bar. You do. So tell yourself that you love yourself and, and embrace it. Now, let's get into it real quick. Okay, we're going to start how to define personal relationships and why, they, why they're the way they are. Okay, worst case scenario, an opportunist, uh, uh, opportun uh, excuse me. Now, an opportunist is a person that has no regards to you. None. They don't care. It's all game for them. Now, some red flags on this is if you're putting more personal investment in this person or situation and it is one-sided, it's always you're giving, you're not reaping any balance or any benefit from this uh, this uh, choice that you've made, unfortunately, you're getting taken advantage of. I'll be, I'll be blunt. If the person or situation only is interacting with you because it gains them, may it be through physical, physical connections, but that same emphasis is not put on your personal life, it's not balanced. You're being taken advantage of. You need to see the you need to see the red flags, and you need to step back as quick as possible. Because if not, what's going to happen is you're going to be left with the pieces, and you're going to be hurt. This also defines your value system. You are the most precious commodity in our in, in our world. So, when it comes to you, your emotions, your physical sense. Don't you think that you deserve to set that bar? Not everybody is supposed to have that benefit or access to you. So be leery of that. Now, an associate is someone that you may show interest of, but you really don't know what they're about. They may give you a little bit, but still, there's no balance. Um, I'll, I'll just put it out there. If you're turning around and this person or situation never responds back the way you want them to or basically there is a wall of, well that wall is there for a reason they don't feel that you have the same balance of interest to be in their circle which brings you back to the opportunist see the opportunist is all about gain so if you're allowing them to more or less set the tone and you're going along with it, dude, boo boo, you're setting yourself up for a lot of pain. They're only going to do that as long as you allow it. Here's a good sign. When you talk to this person and it seems like it is not when you guys have fun or you know say for example you need some assistance for something and they don't have the same uh, emphasis given well guess what that's because they don't look at you worthy of that so protect yourself it's okay lastly a true friend a true friend, man, can't put a price on them. These people only want you to be happy. Now, a lot of times there may be a situation where you may have started off as a, I will say, a opportunist, graduated to an associate 
and then through time became a friend. All these take periods of time and is defined by your value system. What you hold is important. A true friend, they only want you to be happy. And even they're comfortable with you doing whatever you're doing. They're more secure in themselves and they're going to do the most key thing. They're going to be that support system on all levels. They're going to tell you the things that you really don't want to hear but you really know is true. They also are going to be there when you have your personal storms. You might not even hear from them for periods of time or you may just hear from them on a daily basis. You see they value themselves just as much as they value you and it should be it should be sender receiver sender receiver just because it's this true love. Don't you think you deserve that? Now like I said if you're putting out more then you're getting back and it's constantly set on one role come on now that's just like me saying hey let me have access to your emotional bank account would you allow me to do that and you didn't know me no you wouldn't do that because you value that so don't settle for just anything don't allow anything you don't want to transpire please don't do that ladies and gentlemen please so that was just a quick video on how you know whoever's in your life is an associate an opportunist and a true friend remember stay blessed and keep pushing peace